Hello YouTube. Now this video is going to be unboxing Royal Lux Royal vacuum cleaner from from the mid 90s. So let's begin unboxing this. Try to avoid any damage, damage to the vacuum. Okay. <clears throat> now everything is nice here. Some materials. Here is the hose with the external power head connection. Really nice, this has the same fitting as my Volta has. Okay. And this handle is same like Volta has. This is exactly same, but this has this vent, I release vent and uh, my volt volta doesn't have because it was broken so that's the hose okay there's one back This must be the HEPA supporting for the dust bag chamber. So some materials. Okay, I don't know. This is some kind of fitting or adapter pipe. Now this comes with two heads. This is automatic, there's hard floors and uh, carpets and automatic. I believe this works with suction or just spring loaded, I, I am not sure. This has some dirt and uh, a bit burn out but not bad I can clean that easily there's another this is more burn out but I can make this look much nicer just different color than previous okay now 
now this is this power hair is really nice in really nice condition so you can see this is <coughs> rather small plus roll here but It should be okay. Really solid. This is really heavy. And he hair to light. That's what I like ve very, very much. Nice, nice. And a uh, telescopic tube. Or pipe. Now comes the cleaner itself. Okay, so this is looking very, very nice. Oh, this is heavy. This is very heavy. It works like it should. And uh, here you can see this control panel. There's this max and minimum Saxon and auto Saxon. Okay, and a uh, micro microfilter. Okay, this is quite thick. Uh, this must be yes, blower part. No, oh, no, this goes back. Something like that. The line this. Oh, <laughs> of course not. Like that. This way. Yes. Really nice. Okay. What else? And these are metal I like that this is a real Electrolux this is made by Electrolux and uh, sold by door to door salesman there is some like you can see some marks and so on but I can get rid of those and make this look much nicer. And uh, now the back compartment. Now this opens. There's that power hair connection. Okay, like that. So there is back. Oh, nice metal also in here. And uh, nice. I will be ordering fleece bags for this. And uh, you can probably see. I tilt the camera so it's amazing. There's that filter, pre motor filter. So, really nice, really nice. Oh. 
quick test. First, we have to connect the house after putting this back here. This is first time I use this, so these are a bit, bit awkward. Oh. So, there is the house and uh, overhead connection. Yes, that has some space to move or rotate. Now, this pipe is really long. So, overhead. Oh, this doesn't. Oh, now I know where that fitting goes. It goes here somehow and yes this keeps it in place and uh, now this should go there yes nice and this has its own cord wire cord so this goes here like that. ready to go okay it's time to do the test run and I saw this later It was on already. Okay, now we are hooked in and uh, ready to go. And uh, this is in a standby because this light is on. Here is minimum, maximum, out. And uh, I have to first test this like that. Okay, here we go. Okay, now this is clearly my quietest vacuum cleaner that I have now. Really nice. Now 
let's check this over here. These are a bit awkward. These outer connections, but I don't mind because this is all original. So let's test this. And uh, it's on max now. very extremely hard to push this carpet tends to be like that for most cleaners this was nice this was unplanned quick unboxing so I saw later those nozzles And uh, much more testing is coming, so stay tuned.